Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a first impressions review on the new NARS Euphoria face palette. I'm gonna show you how I got this look and go over my thoughts of this guy. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and see all that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Now, I'm not as consistent when it comes to covering NARS products just because their products don't necessarily excite me all the time. And they seem to come out with a lot of little collections on their website. And this was the first collection in a while that I was kind of interested in. Now, I didn't buy the whole collection. I only picked up the palette. And I have to say, the reason that I justify this is when NARS comes out with a palette with a color story that I really like, I tend to use it a lot. I don't buy every palette that they come out with, but when I find one that I like, I really, really like it. So this one definitely interested me. Now this is currently only available on the NARS website. I don't know if it's going to go to other retailers. It is limited edition. And on their website right now, it says it's selling fast. I picked this up for $59. The NARS website does have Afterpay if you use Afterpay. This is described as a limited edition palette featuring eight eyeshadows and three glistening shades of highlighter. So let's take a look at the product itself. So it has this gorgeous kind of coral packaging, which I think is really nice. I haven't seen packaging this color from them, but it's still their typical kind of design. You have the shade names on the back and it has a really hard to open class. On the back, it is a 12 month shelf life made in Canada. I feel like more and more products are being made in Canada. It has a big large mirror and when you open it up you have the eight shades on top and then the three highlighters at the bottom. Each eyeshadow by the way is 1.2 grams and then each highlighter is four grams. So let's talk about the eyeshadows first. So it's a pretty neutral color story with the exception of kind of this cranberry row here. So you have three mattes, two I would say almost satins, one metallic shade, and then two of their glittering formula. And then all three of the highlighters seem to be the same. And then they say one is a medium peach, one is a medium gold, and then one is a light pink shade. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a light pink and this is the peach. Anyways, I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's just get into it. I decided to do a first impression of this just because I felt like doing a first impression. <laughs> For an eyeshadow base, I'm using my Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade Light. Not my favorite eyeshadow primer, but I'm trying to use it more. It does create a pretty nice canvas. Let's get into the goods. We're gonna start off with this shade right here. I am using an Esam V34. This does carry some pigmentation to it. Powder does kick back with this shade, but it's very, very light. So if you have a deeper complexion than me, this is gonna work differently for you. BK Beauty 202, we're going into this medium brown shade. It has a little bit of peachiness to it, and we're just gonna slowly build up the depth and blend it out very nice. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's gonna tell us a lot about the formula. And I'm not doing, as you can see, anything special, but this is blending out very nicely. So that's a very good thing. It's very important for a brand to nail down a chocolate brown, in my opinion, because it's such an important color and I accidentally made a mess. That's okay, because if it can blend out well, then the problems will be easily solved. Let's play around with this glittery formula. So this is almost like a brown with some pink glitters in there. And so when you apply it to the lid, it's not very, very pigmented, but the glitters are quite evident. I would almost suggest using a glitter glue for this because I feel like, let's test it out, that the glitters are just going to fall. So let's see. Yeah, so the glitters kind of do fall out of place. It's definitely not as glittery as it was when I first applied. So if you really want that glitter to stick, use a glitter glue. So I don't think the shade is a complete bust, but yeah, it doesn't have too much of a purpose though. Now we're gonna go in with the peach shade. I guess this is more of a champagne-y gold but we're gonna apply this all over to the lid. I will say it doesn't pack 
as much as a punch as I would like for it to. Like it's just a little bit more soft than I was anticipating it being. It's pretty, there's a time and a place for this, but in the pan it looked a little bit more metallic to me. I imagine this shade is gonna be a little bit more metallic-y. So I'm going to apply that not all over the lid as far as that first color that I just did, but not quite in the inner corner because I wanna play with some of the highlights. But yeah, that one has more of a metallic finish. So if you're looking for an extra gleam, we're gonna have to go into that shade. We're gonna use the cranberry color, which has a shimmer to it. Just run this along the lower lash line. Pool is very, very red. You know, the holidays are coming towards an end, but how fun. The pigmentation to this is really, really good. And I'm gonna just wipe off that brush and we're gonna go into the pinky shade and I'm gonna apply that to the inner half. That's just kind of a nice soft pink touch. Nothing to write home about. If you really want the pink to be a little bit more bold, I would suggest glitter glue or wetting your brush. But I did just add a little bit of extra dimension. All right, cool. I actually, I really like the look. I don't think the shadows are really spectacular, but they're not bad quality. I think that the shadows are really nice quality. I liked how everything applied. Are they anything really special? No, do you have these colors? Yes, is it an amazing color story? No, but they definitely worked really well. So I'm gonna finish lashes, blush, lips, and then we'll finish off with the highlighters. All right, so makeup is complete. If you're curious about anything I'm wearing, it will be linked in the description box. It's time to move over to the highlights. So I have them swatching my hand right now. They all seem to be a little bit more on the warmer side. The only shade that I can see maybe with a little bit of glitter is the warmest, deepest highlight. I don't know if you can almost see the little flecks, but very, very, very fine. Pretty much non-existent if you ask me. The rest seem to be pretty smooth. So we're gonna start off with the deepest shade. If you have a similar complexion than mine, we can see what it's gonna look like. I'm using a Kaleidos H1 brush. So you can kind of see the glitter flex a little bit on the face, but it is a little bit more beaming. Not my favorite highlight. Normally I really like the NARS highlighter formula, but I can tell you this one, I probably won't reach for again, except as an eyelid shade. There is a very, very slight cast. I think this will be nicer on a medium complexion. So now let's move into the middle, more golden shade. So again, I think this is gonna be a little bit more flattering on medium to deep complexions. It works and you can see it's a very, very shiny finish and it almost has more of a metallic finish on the skin. It doesn't necessarily blend into the skin. It looks almost like a soft foil. It's really, really pretty. Just not my favorite highlighter in the world. All right, and now let's play with the lightest one right here, which they describe as a light pink. I don't really think it's very pinky. I think it's a very light champagne peach. And we're just gonna put this right on the tips. And that's very, very blinding. It's really, really pretty. It's almost like glass looking on the skin. It's almost a bit too much if you're like me and you like more natural or blend into the skin kind of highlighters. They're almost more reflective than the actual shimmer shades in the eyeshadow palette, which is interesting. Very pretty highlights though. I don't want you to think I don't like it. It's just I've gotten used to a little bit more natural highlights and not so glass-like. But that really does make a fantastic inner corner highlight. I use the lightest shade. All right, so that's that. Let me get myself together and I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so let's get into my final thoughts. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did put up turquoise lettering of my makeup hoarder design. So it's really cute in the white t-shirt. Anyways, okay. Overall, I definitely think this is a good palette. It's very good quality, but I don't think it is a necessity unless you really enjoy the colors. For me, I don't think it's my favorite palette that NARS has come out with. The highlights are a little bit too glass-like and reflective on my cheek than what I normally prefer. Very, very pretty. Just not what I go for anymore. Back in the day, I would have loved this. And I think the colors though will be very flattering on a medium and deeper complexion. Just be prepared for that extra shine. The eyeshadows worked very well also. They blended beautifully. I love the look that I created. It's very simple, but you're not really gonna get a huge variety in looks. The majority of the shades are pretty neutral with the exception of this pop right here, which is really, really pretty. And if you put it all over the lid, 
it will make a stunning kind of night out evening berry cranberry kind of look so the shadow quality is also very very nice as expected and i mean basically my final thoughts kind of ring true to what i've been saying about nars for a while the stuff they come out with it's really good quality but it is a little bit repetitive we have the colors it's not exciting enough but if you are interested in the color story i don't think you would be disappointed with the formula so i hope you guys enjoyed this demo and first impressions if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the description box and if you aren't subscribed to my channel i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one